This story appears in the June slash July 2022 issue of Forbes magazine. Subscribe it was February 2020, travel restrictions hadn't yet hit Europe, and the big shots of oil were gathered in London for International Petroleum Week. At an imitation-only dinner, commodities trader Pierre Andrand offered a startling prediction, as COVID-19 spread, countries would lock down, storage tanks would fill up and the price of oil would go to zero. The French-born, Oxford-trained mathematician had studied the early medical reports out of Wuhan, China, and was so sure of the scenario that his hedge funds, now with $1.7 billion under management, had taken big short positions in crude oil futures. By the time prices fell below zero that April 20, Andorand Capital's funds had banked gains ranging from 60% to 155%. In early February of this year, the trader made another attention-grabbing call, crude oil was surge in 2022 to $150 a barrel as post-pandemic demand, goosed by massive central bank stimulus, collided with years of declining investment in fossil fuels, and underinvestment in alternatives. And that was before Vladimir Putin delivered a supply-side sucker punch with his February 24th invasion of Ukraine. Andurand, whose biggest fund is up another 112% year-to-date through April, now expects oil prices to go even higher, with $200 a barrel possible, in coastal centers, that translates to $8 a gallon at the pump. Putin decided to invade now because the market was tight, he says. The war accelerated where I felt we were headed, to a shortage. It's going to get worse from here, echoes Fort Worth, Texas, billionaire John Goff, chairman of Crescent Energy. He's been scooping up depressed oil assets since 2019. The world is woefully underinvested, energy transition policies are naive and demand has yet to peak, he adds. I'm all for green energy, but we need a real plan. Skeptics might point out that as of late May, a full three months after Putin's invasion, oil futures were still bobbing around $110 a barrel, 